Okay, so try this for me. Uh, and if you've tried it, we'll do it again just to be sure. Okay, my friends, so I'm turning on my DX7. I'm gonna press edit. Then I'm gonna press, while I'm holding edit, I'm gonna press 16 and 32 simultaneously until it goes into this test mode. And you could see, let me just turn this thing down. You could see the ROM revision, you could see the battery status, and so on and so forth. Uh, turn the volume down, that sign is just going to continue. Now to exit out of this, once you saw what it says, just press single, and then you'll get right out of this mode. It would not go on with a test. Now, what it just did, it reset everything. So the only thing that you'll need to do is disable memory protect and your system exclusive data should work. Now let me go on to another DX7. Okay, same thing here, but this is another DX7. Now, this is not going to put itself in a test mode, but it will reset everything. That's all it's going to do. Why? Because it's running much older firmware. Okay, now, everything on this DX7 is stock right now. I have not altered any settings. It reset itself to factory defaults. The only thing I'm going to do right now is I'm going to turn off the internal memory protect. So, I go edit, button number 14, and then you turn it off. Okay, so what we've done in both cases is we reset the DX7s to their factory settings, and I've disabled memory protect on the one that I'm going to dump the sounds to right now. And that's all I did. So I didn't go through any pages. I didn't, you know, set individual parameters. I just nuked it, reset it, it's factory, with memory protect off. And all I'm going to do right now is send system exclusive directly from my computer to the, to the correct port. Okay, let's check. So everything's loaded. Uh, yeah, I'm just keep going. All kinds of cool stuff. If you've reset your DX7, turned off memory protect, if your computer is sending out system exclusive and it's doing it at the right speed, always adjust transmission speed. It should work. However, there's always a caveat. Some DX7 Mark IIs, and I don't know if it's the one with an e-card or just the one with a different firmware revision. I have no idea. But when you hit edit and then button number 29, there's a setting in there that you're supposed to set to normal. Something to do with input and, some, and the word normal. Uh, apparently you absolutely have to do it on these other DX7 Mark II FDs that I do not have here um, and then exclusive works. However, I've never come across one of those and uh, I got two of them and uh, exclusive works. And I've given you very simple steps so you don't have to go through, you know, pages and other stuff. Yada, 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 right? So uh, here you go. <laughs> How you like this thing, huh? Picked it up the other day. Anyhow, like and subscribe.